two, one. Hey, Brett. This is John Day. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? Good. I've been seeing you on TV lately. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Got some more stuff coming up, which is awesome. Yeah, so you're, you're uh, putting some stuff out. You think you might uh, get CNN to, to, to take an interest in it, some of this TSA stuff? I hope so. Um, I actually have a friend that recently moved to Atlanta to work for CNN, and I went ahead and just sent her a tip about what was going on on Wednesday. Uh, I already have some local folks that want to come, and uh, the guy that interviewed me earlier this week about TSA is going to cover the opt-out day stuff. Right. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see if we get some national media on it. Yeah, well, I tell you what, I mean, the national media seems to be chomping at the bit just to get people to talk about it. So it's definitely something that the, I mean, this is definitely a Libertarian Party issue. It's kind of funny how the Democrats and the Republicans both seem to be kind of, no one's taking, I mean, who's the guy out there taking a stand against the issue? You know what I mean? I, I mean, yeah. I guess the Republicans, know, even though you know they want to be like, yes, everyone must be searched. You know, right. even though they're like that, you still think, who who is that guy that's standing out there and uh, and, and standing up against? It? But nobody really is. But I mean, yeah. the Libertarian Party, though, this is one of those things that we really could be out there on. I, I, well, we should own this issue, and I think that's something that we're showing. Um, you know, here in Georgia, we we took a pretty hard stance. Uh, focusing on the Fourth Amendment stuff, not so much on the medical issues because I'm not familiar enough with those, uh, but mostly on the Fourth Amendment stuff and how this isn't really a safety thing. This is just security theater. Right. And, you know, Indiana did something similar, and I think that we're going to see in a lot of these states that we can really own this issue. Yeah. I'm glad to see you out there doing it. I'd like to see somebody, you know, you know me, I'd like to see somebody covering the, the war side of it. I'd like to see yeah. someone covering the idea that we are, you know, we're, why are they doing that to this? Why do we have to subject ourselves to this? Why would someone want to get on these planes and blow us up? Why are all these things happening? And I think, you know, like Justin Romando from antiwar.com had put out a thing it's, it's similar to the thing I would say, not seeing the forest through the through the naked x-ray machine. And that's what's, that's what's going on. We're really not seeing the forest. I mean, the big picture is that people who want to do us harm could do us harm in any number of ways. And uh, the amount of people on an airplane, let's say 140, 150 people, is no more or less than they could harm in, in thousands, literally thousands of other ways. The fact that that would make it obvious to us that there's nothing we're going to do to stop it through security. You right. cannot make us secure, you know, just off of the, these types of uh, things at the airport because there's a, they could blow up a dam, they could blow up a bridge, they could go down the highway, they could walk into a, an orchestra room and, and or, you know, where there's an orchestra playing, they could, uh, or, or whatever. I mean, the, the theater, theater, or, any also. number of things. And, and are we gonna go through our entire lives? Like, I mean, it'd have to be to the point where you walk out of your house and someone pats you down. It's like, you know, and, and, or are you going to go into somebody else's house? Yeah, I'm going over to my friend Bob's. Well, Bob's got a screener, so that'll be safe. You know? Right, yeah. We'll all have to have our own personal TSA screeners at every address. <laughs> yeah.